Bla bla bla. Bla 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 bla. Bla 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 bla. Which is exactly the thing I could say about this movie, kind of. Listen, if you come here, you probably come because you heard. Listen, Kevin Smith is reviving uh, an old movie. He plans to revive old. Well, the production is still in the works. Like right now. We're just hoping they don't cancel the project before it even got off its feet. Yeah, because uh, then video would be useless. But having said that, if you want to see the Adventures of Buckaroo Banz Banzai. Which is a TV show that a TV show, which is a movie that Kevin Smith talks about with great enthusiasm. And listen, it was hard to find this movie. It wasn't easy. But no, but here's the thing with the movie: it's like they announced the sequel at the end of the movie, and you never got the sequel. Yes, uh, just like they did with Flash Gordon, which is one of my all-time favorites movie of all time. Like I would put it at top ten if we were making. But anyways. They get your hopes up and you know you get nothing. But to me, it uh, it was only a hope because the movie in itself is not so good. There's aspects of it. It's a little bit way too long. It, if it were a little bit shorter, it would it would have been better. It's about this uh, Asian American. He has an Asian. One of his parents is Asian. The other one is American. And I don't know which is which, but it really doesn't matter because the white dude plays them. So they can do whatever they want to in the TV show that uh, Kevin Smith is on board doing. Uh, as of last update, which was not a few weeks ago, but maybe now a few months ago, he said that project is still in the works, that the production team is tinkering with the details, but that it hasn't died yet. So we went to see this movie, right? And... I wasn't really know what to expect because it's about this guy who goes to a, an eighth dimension. So like he what? travels through. But the way it happens is he's a scientist. He's a doctor. He's like, I mean, he's, he's a jack a lot of all. Of stuff. Yeah, he's like, he's basically Mr. Fantastic. What uh, Mr. Fantastic is in the Marvel comics. Bakaru Banza is that in this world. So, and he has a, an entourage with him. He has his crew who do, do stuff with him and for him, so he doesn't have to deal with all the details because he's always so busy doing stuff, helping the world be better, helping US be great again, and whatnot. So, what happens is they're testing this, I don't know, new technology because they want to go through solid matter, right? And. A mountain. In this case, a mountain. So. I'm not sure whether they're developing. Uh, I forgot. It was a little while. Basically, by doing, they succeed. They travel through the mountain, but by doing so, so they actually travel. Well, they, they don't travel through a mountain, but they actually travel through another dimension, mention, which is inside the mountain. And once they exit the dimension, they come on the other side of the mountain. And that's where the fun starts. Ah, uh, uh, Be fun. Because at that point, there's actually creatures from the eighth dimension mention. who actually live on Earth. Who are looking for a way to come back yeah. to the eight dimensions, but they can't. And there is uh, also evil stuff waiting to get out, or something like that. And mostly they want to go back. And uh, John Lidgow actually leads the merry crew. Yeah, in this case, they, they are a merry crew of eight dimensioners. And they want to go back to the eight dimension, and all of a sudden they have a way of doing that. So they have to steal the technology. Buckaroo they don't Ozai. have to steal. They want to steal it, so... Uh, they want to steal the technology Buckaroo and his team designed in order to come back and Buckaroo and his crew try to stop him. They actually eventually do stop him. Listen, it's a fun movie. It's fun in a kiddish way. To me, it's a still movie for kids. Yeah. Uh, it's basically what Tomorrowland was for 2015, 2014. No, it's not even that. Tomorrowland is better. But Definitely, it's, but it's listen, he can people be a fun received movie. it the same way as I did uh, the Buckaroo Banzai. I mean, Peter Weller plays the main character, John Lithgow is in it, Jeff Goldblum. You Gold can't go wrong with Peter Weller, the best Robocop ever. And he actually said that he wants to come back and do the TV shows. Then you have Jeff Goldblum is in it, Yeah. Christopher Lloyd's in it. Yeah. I mean, you have a good cast, come to, came together, they did the movie, and as far as I know, I think they are open to doing the sequel or slash TV shows. I don't think they do them all. I don't think they bring the whole cast back. I don't but think it's so. Actually They're fun. way too old. They make cameo as something, but... But uh, they are 
mostly looking forward to actually seeing the continuing adventures of Bakuru Banzai, if would, even if they don't take part. We hope Kevin Smith to actually studio proceeds with this. And no, no, Kevin, Kevin Smith Smith's gonna do a heck of a job. Because he's already with it. on it. I mean, they asked for him, so as long as studio do doesn't it, so back out in the yeah, twelve hours, it's all on up to the studio. Yeah, we're gonna see a TV show. Hopefully, it's gonna be a fun TV show. And if you haven't seen Kevin the movie, Smith's go do, see it. It's yeah. worth seeing at least once. It's I mean, fun. It, it is in a way, but it may not end up being your score, kind of fun. The music. Dude, you can't have a good movie without a good score. So. And they have a good score. And there's an iconic scene, and you will see this. Because I can describe you the scene, but until you see it, it's at the very end of the movie. You know the scene when they're all walking. Listen, you will know the scene when you see it. So, and you will, oh, that's where that's from. Okay, so like that was also a cool scene. Yeah. So we're not going to rate this movie just like we didn't rate some of the other ones. No, we, the, just the like other we did, ones that we yeah, didn't do. Like we did with the Man of Steel and Dark Knight trilogy. Just go watch it. Just because go watch at one it. point Kevin Smith's project will go forward. And even if it studio doesn't... studio will do this and you're going to be like, okay, what the hell is Bakaru Bonsai? Is it worth watching? It is. It is. It is. And uh, in order to figure out what's happening, and here's the thing, Kevin's probably going to tell you go watch the movie first. Yeah. But he's also going to make it in a way that, yes, it's a continuing adventure, but you can pick up what's happening Knowing Kevin Smith is probably going to do it the way you don't have to watch the movie to understand the TV show or the series. Yeah, but uh, watching the TV show will probably enhance the experience of you. Uh, it does, it's not long, so it's definitely worth watching. Hour and at least a half, once. maybe. No, it's longer than an hour and a half. I know, because it was a little bit longer than what I want, was hoping it would be, but yeah. Yeah. One hour, 43 minutes. 43 minutes, okay, so it, it, so it's not too long. And a half, I would not have complained about the length. So, yeah. So it's uh, it's not too long, you can watch it, one sitting, no problem. Yeah. And it's worth the watch, at least once. And you can watch with your kids or nephews yeah. or whatever, because it is... Uh, with your aunts, uncles, I mean, in-laws, outlaws, you yeah. know it. It is uh, kid-friendly, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alright, that's it from us. For today, uh, until next week, Bash Bros. Yeah.